It all started right here, right on that front porch when I was a little boy, and Grandma would tell me the family stories. And I just can't help feel that it was meant to be, that when I would become a man, those stories would become first a book, then a television film, both of which symbolize as much a part of America's history as does the Mayflower. By now, the response worldwide has made Roots more than just a book or a television event because peoples everywhere have been moved to searching after their own roots. And in making us realize how alike we all are, Roots really may have become a bridge to a greater understanding between all peoples. And we so much need this in this world that we share today that I find myself vividly remembering something else Grandma used to say. She would say, the Lord might not come right when you expect him to, but he will always be on time. The Old South is changing, says Alex Haley, and changing perhaps faster than the rest of the country. And it is here in the South, in Alamance County, North Carolina, that an historic event took place that dramatically illustrates that change. November 13, 1977, the second reunion since the publication of Roots between the descendants of the Murray slave owners and the Murray slaves. Alex Haley was again present at this reunion, held at the Crossroads Presbyterian Church outside Mebane, North Carolina. The church stands on what was once the Murray Plantation. The reunion was marked not only by an exchange of stories, but by an exchange of food, as each family, black and white, brought dishes to share at the old-fashioned picnic. Ben Covington is on there. Yeah. Men and women of all ages, including Hattie Lynch, the oldest living white Murray, enjoyed the festivities. It's so good to see all of you here today, Murrays, both black and white. I feel like on this occasion, the gathering of the Murray families, for this afternoon service, we should begin with prayer. Let us pray. O Holy Father, from whom every family on earth receives its name, we thank you for this day and for this gathering, for the opportunities we have to serve you. We ask that you be among us and enjoy the fellowship of this hour with us. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. As I thought about The Reverend James Rissmiller, in his opening remarks, comments upon the importance of this historic reunion. The event, he explains, perhaps best illustrates the true meaning of roots. And I think we today have experienced something of that. We came together for a festival kind of occasion. And in the coming together, have experienced something no one planned, no one counted on. An experience which is good. An experience which comes as a gift from God. Thanks be to God for his gift. It is now my pleasure to introduce Alex Haley, a member of the Murray family, for a few remarks. In 1872, my maternal grandmother was born here in this Alamance County. Her name was Cynthia Murray. Her father was Tom Murray, who had been a slave blacksmith on the Murray Plantation. Her mother was named Irene, who had been owned by the Holt Plantation. In late 1873, that particular Murray family, the Black Murrays, 
road away from this county into western Tennessee where they settled. In that wagon train were surnames of people whose ancestors are to be found in that cemetery just outside this church. The ancestors of most of us who are gathered here today. Somehow our coming together now more than a hundred years later, some generations later, symbolizes things that are true across this nation. One of them is most of us in this country, with the single exception of the American Indian, ancestrally came from somewhere across an ocean originally. I see us sitting here and I think of different types of ships, immigrant ships from Europe, slave ships from Africa. And it seems to me that now, that we can gather in this way that we do, we sort of symbolize the best potential of this country. And I think it very appropriate that we are gathered now here in a church in the house of God. For if I perceive correctly what are the true missions of religion, of the church, they are to heal and to bind. Thank you. Let us now stand and sing hymn number 473, Blessed Be the Tithe of Bonds. southern church one can perhaps see the beginnings of a new future for if roots has a message it perhaps is in the questions it collectively asks all of us not only who am I or where do I come from but more importantly where do we go from here